Empty Your Mind, A Powerful Zen Story for Your Life, and More Zen Story for Your Life. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among the mountains, there lived a wise and revered Zen master. People from far and wide sought his teachings, hoping to find enlightenment and inner peace. One day, a troubled young man arrived at the master's humble dwelling, burdened by the weight of his chaotic thoughts and restless mind. The young man approached the Zen master with desperation in his eyes. Master, he pleaded, my mind is filled with endless worries, doubts, and fears. I can no longer find solace or clarity. Please, teach me how to empty my mind and find true peace. The Zen master gazed at the troubled youth with compassion, understanding the torment he carried. He motioned for the young man to sit beside him under the shade of a majestic cherry blossom tree. The gentle breeze whispered through the leaves, creating a serene atmosphere. Emptying your mind is like preparing a vessel to be filled with fresh water. The master began, his voice as calm as a tranquil lake. Tell me, my friend, if you wish to drink tea, what must you do first? The young man pondered for a moment before answering, I must empty the cup of any existing liquid so that it may be filled with the tea. The master nodded approvingly. Indeed, to receive something new, one must create space by letting go of what already occupies it. Similarly, to empty your mind, you must release the burdensome thoughts that weigh you down. Eager to learn, the young man asked, but how do I empty my mind, master? The thoughts seem relentless, always flooding my consciousness. The Zen master smiled knowingly. Picture your mind as a vast sky, and the thoughts as clouds passing by. Just as clouds come and go, thoughts arise and dissipate. But the sky remains unchanged, ever expansive and clear. He continued, sit in meditation and observe the thoughts as they arise, neither grasping onto them nor pushing them away. Become the observer, detached from the content of your mind. Allow the thoughts to drift by like passing clouds, acknowledging their presence without investing your energy in them. The young man listened intently, his heart yearning for the peace the master described. With newfound hope, he embraced the teachings and began his journey of self-discovery and stillness. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. The young man diligently practiced meditation, gradually gaining mastery over his restless mind. As he learned to observe his thoughts without judgment or attachment, a profound transformation occurred within him. One morning, as he sat under the cherry blossom tree, a sense of deep calmness enveloped him. The worries and fears that had plagued him for so long were no longer present. In that moment, he experienced the sweet fragrance of true inner peace. Overjoyed, the young man returned to the Zen master to express his gratitude. Master, he exclaimed, through your guidance, I have emptied my mind and discovered the boundless serenity within. My heart is now light, and my spirit is free. The Zen master smiled warmly, his eyes filled with wisdom. Remember, my dear student, that emptying your mind is not a destination but a lifelong practice. Just as the sky is ever expansive, so too is the potential for growth and enlightenment within you. Embrace the present moment, for it is where true peace resides. And so, the young man embarked on his journey, forever grateful for the powerful Zen story that had guided him to empty his mind and discover the eternal beauty that lay within him. From that day forward, he shared the teachings with others, becoming a beacon of light for those seeking solace amidst the chaos of their own minds. Young Man Zen Story for Your Life The young man approached the Zen master with desperation in his eyes. Master, he pleaded, my mind is filled with endless worries, doubts, and fears. I can no longer find solace or clarity. Please, teach me how to empty my mind and find true peace. The Zen master gazed at the troubled youth with compassion, understanding the torment he carried. He motioned for the young man to sit beside him under the shade of a majestic cherry blossom tree. The gentle breeze whispered through the leaves, creating a serene atmosphere. Emptying your mind is like preparing a vessel to be filled with fresh water, the master began, his voice as calm as a tranquil lake. Tell me, my friend, if you wish to drink tea, what must you do first? The young man pondered for a moment before answering, I must empty the cup of any existing liquid so that it may be filled with the tea. The master nodded approvingly. Indeed, to receive something new, one must create space by letting go of what already occupies it. Similarly, to empty your mind, you must release the burdensome thoughts that weigh you down. 
Eager to learn, the young man asked, but how do I empty my mind, master? The thoughts seem relentless, always flooding my consciousness. The Zen master smiled knowingly. Picture your mind as a vast sky, and the thoughts as clouds passing by. Just as clouds come and go, thoughts arise and dissipate. But the sky remains unchanged, ever expansive and clear. He continued, sit in meditation and observe the thoughts as they arise, neither grasping onto them nor pushing them away. Become the observer, detached from the content of your mind. Allow the thoughts to drift by like passing clouds, acknowledging their presence without investing your energy in them. The young man listened intently, his heart yearning for the peace the master described. With newfound hope, he embraced the teachings and began his journey of self-discovery and stillness. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. The young man diligently practiced meditation, gradually gaining mastery over his restless mind. As he learned to observe his thoughts without judgment or attachment, a profound transformation occurred within him. One morning, as he sat under the cherry blossom tree, a sense of deep calmness enveloped him. The worries and fears that had plagued him for so long were no longer present. In that moment, he experienced the sweet fragrance of true inner peace. Overjoyed, the young man returned to the Zen master to express his gratitude. Master, he exclaimed, through your guidance, I have emptied my mind and discovered the boundless serenity within. My heart is now light, and my spirit is free. The Zen master smiled warmly, his eyes filled with wisdom. Remember, my dear student, that emptying your mind is not a destination but a lifelong practice. Just as the sky is ever expansive, so too is the potential for growth and enlightenment within you. Embrace the present moment, for it is where true peace resides. And so, the young man embarked on his journey, forever grateful for the powerful Zen story that had guided him to empty his mind and discover the eternal beauty that lay within him. From that day forward, he shared the teachings with others, becoming a beacon of light for those seeking solace amidst the chaos of their own minds. Overjoyed, the young man returned to the Zen master to express his gratitude. Master, he exclaimed, through your guidance, I have emptied my mind and discovered the boundless serenity within. My heart is now light, and my spirit is free. The Zen master smiled warmly, his eyes filled with wisdom. Remember, my dear student, that emptying your mind is not a destination but a lifelong practice. Just as the sky is ever expansive, so too is the potential for growth and enlightenment within you. Embrace the present moment, for it is where true peace resides. And so, the young man embarked on his journey, forever grateful for the powerful Zen story that had guided him to empty his mind and discover the eternal beauty that lay within him. From that day forward, he shared the teachings with others, becoming a beacon of light for those seeking solace amidst the chaos of their own minds. Full Zen Story for Your Life once upon a time, in a peaceful Zen monastery situated amidst lush greenery and babbling brooks, there lived a young disciple named Koji. Koji possessed a restless spirit and an insatiable thirst for knowledge, constantly seeking answers to life's deepest questions. One day, as Koji walked through the monastery gardens, he stumbled upon an ancient scroll hidden beneath a cherry blossom tree. Intrigued, he unrolled the scroll and discovered a profound Zen story that would forever change his life. The story told of a wise Zen master who embarked on a journey to find the meaning of life. Guided by his unwavering determination, he traveled across mountains, deserts, and vast oceans, seeking answers from renowned sages and spiritual masters. Years passed, and the Zen master encountered countless hardships and disappointments along his path. Yet, he persisted, his unwavering spirit fueling his quest for enlightenment. Finally, after traversing through a dense forest, he arrived at the entrance of an ancient cave, rumored to hold the key to ultimate wisdom. The Zen master entered the dimly lit cave, its walls adorned with mystical symbols and intricate patterns. Deep within its chambers, he found a serene figure seated in meditation, an enlightened being known as the Sage of Silence. The master approached the sage with reverence, bowing deeply. Oh, revered sage of silence, I have traveled far and wide, seeking the meaning of life. Pray, bestow upon me your wisdom. The sage, eyes closed, spoke in a voice that resonated with tranquility. Life, my dear seeker, is a magnificent tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, 
success and failure, love and loss. It is a dance of light and shadow, each moment pregnant with boundless possibilities. Curiosity burning within him. The Zen master asked, but how can one find true fulfillment and purpose amidst the ebb and flow of life's challenges? The sage smiled, his countenance radiating serenity. Close your eyes and take a deep breath, my friend, he said. In the stillness of your being lies the answer you seek. The master followed the sage's guidance, closing his eyes and turning his attention inward. As his mind settled, he discovered a profound sense of presence, a vastness within his own consciousness that transcended the dualities of the world. In that moment, the master realized that the meaning of life was not a grand destination to be reached, but rather a continuous journey of self-discovery and awakening. It was an invitation to embrace the present moment fully, allowing life to unfold with grace and acceptance. Overwhelmed with gratitude, the Zen master bowed deeply to the sage. Thank you, wise sage of silence, for illuminating the path before me. I shall carry your teachings in my heart and share them with others. As the master left the cave, a sense of profound peace enveloped him. He returned to his monastery with newfound clarity, embracing each day with unwavering presence and compassion. Koji, having absorbed every word of the story, felt a profound resonance within his own being. From that day forward, Koji dedicated himself to the practice of Zen, immersing himself in meditation, mindfulness, and the study of ancient teachings. He realized that the Zen story he had discovered was not merely a tale of a master's journey, but a reflection of his own life, a reminder to find meaning and purpose in the present moment. Koji's restless spirit gradually transformed into a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. He became a beloved and respected disciple, sharing the wisdom he had gained with others who sought the path of enlightenment. As time passed, Koji grew into a wise and compassionate Zen master himself, guiding countless seekers toward the realization that the fullness of life lies not in the pursuit of answers but in the acceptance of the ever-unfolding mystery. And in that acceptance, they discovered the profound beauty and interconnectedness of all existence. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain, there lived a young fisherman named Hiro. Hiro was known for his skillful technique and the serenity he carried with him as he cast his nets into the sparkling waters of the nearby river. One day, Hiro heard whispers of a renowned Zen master who resided high up on the mountain. People spoke of his profound wisdom and ability to bring peace to troubled souls. Intrigued by the stories, Hiro decided to embark on a journey to seek the guidance of this master. With a humble heart and a yearning for deeper understanding, Hiro began his ascent up the steep mountain path. The journey was arduous, with each step demanding strength and resilience. Hiro faced numerous obstacles, both external and internal. Doubts and fatigue crept into his mind, tempting him to turn back. But Hiro persisted. He recognized that the path to enlightenment was not meant to be easy. It required dedication and unwavering determination. Finally, after days of climbing, Hiro reached a serene clearing where the Zen master's small hut stood. As Hiro entered, he was greeted by a kind-faced old man with gentle eyes that seemed to hold the wisdom of ages. The master welcomed him warmly and motioned for him to sit. Welcome, young traveler, the master said with a serene smile. What brings you to my humble abode? Hiro bowed respectfully. Master, I have heard of your profound wisdom and seek guidance on my journey to inner peace and enlightenment. The master nodded, his eyes filled with understanding. My teachings are not mere words or intellectual concepts, young hero. They are woven into the tapestry of life itself. To truly understand, you must embark on a journey within, exploring the depths of your own being. With these words, the master handed hero a small empty wooden bowl. Take this bowl and go to the river at dawn. Fill it with water and return to me without spilling a single drop. Puzzled but willing to trust the master's wisdom, Hiro accepted the bowl and made his way to the riverbank. As the first rays of the sun painted the sky with golden hues, Hiro carefully dipped the bowl into the water. However, no matter how cautiously he tried, the water inevitably spilled through the gaps between his fingers. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Hiro returned to the Zen master repeatedly, disappointed in his inability to complete the task. Each time, the master offered gentle encouragement and insightful guidance, 
urging Hiro to try again. As Hiro persisted in his practice, a subtle transformation occurred within him. He began to observe his thoughts and emotions as they arose, without judgment or attachment. He discovered that it was his own restless mind and the desire to control that caused the water to spill. Finally, one crisp morning, Hiro stood at the river's edge, the bowl poised in his hands. In that moment, he surrendered his striving, letting go of the need to succeed. He allowed himself to become fully present, embracing the flow of life without resistance. With a sense of deep calmness, Hiro dipped the bowl into the river once more. This time, the water filled the bowl effortlessly, and he returned to the Zen master's hut, the bowl still brimming with water. The master's eyes sparkled with joy as he observed Hiro's accomplishment. You have learned a great lesson, young Hiro, he said. The path to enlightenment is not found in the pursuit of perfection but in the surrender to what is. When you release the need for control, when you let go of the incessant chatter of the mind, you become one with the present moment. Tears of gratitude welled up in Hiro's eyes as he realized the profound truth behind the simple task. He had learned that true peace resided not in the external achievements or circumstances of life, but in the surrender to the flow of existence. From that day forward, Hiro embraced a life of mindfulness and compassion. He returned to his village as a changed man, radiating a sense of inner peace and serenity. The people around him were drawn to his presence, seeking his guidance and wisdom. As Hiro shared his experiences and the teachings of the Zen master, he became a guiding light for others, helping them navigate the challenges of life and find solace within themselves. Through his gentle words and compassionate actions, Hiro illuminated the path to awakening, reminding others that enlightenment is not a destination but a lifelong journey of self-discovery and inner transformation. And so, Hiro's journey continued, not only as a fisherman but as a beacon of light, inspiring all who crossed his path to seek the depths of their own being and discover the eternal wisdom that resides within. Troubled young woman named May Lesson from Zen Story for Your Life One day, a troubled young woman named May arrived at the temple gates. May carried a heavy burden in her heart, consumed by grief and sorrow from the loss of a loved one. She approached Shin with tear-filled eyes, desperately seeking solace and understanding. The Zen master welcomed May with a gentle smile, recognizing the depth of her pain. He motioned for her to sit beside him on a worn-out wooden bench beneath a blossoming cherry tree. Dear May, Shin began, his voice soothing and compassionate, I sense the weight of your suffering. Tell me, what troubles your heart? Through her tears, May shared the story of her loss, the immense void left in her life, and the unending questions that tormented her mind. She yearned for answers that would bring her peace and help her make sense of her pain. Shin listened attentively, offering no immediate response. Instead, he closed his eyes and took a deep breath, as if inhaling the essence of May's sorrow. After a moment of silence, Shin opened his eyes and spoke softly. May, grief is a natural part of life, like the changing seasons. It is the storm that washes over our souls, but it is not meant to define us. To find peace within your heart, you must learn to dance with the ebb and flow of life embracing both joy and sorrow. May looked at Shin, her eyes searching for answers. But how, Master? How can I find peace amidst such pain and loss? Shin reached out and gently held May's trembling hands. Close your eyes, dear May, he whispered, and listen to the whispers of your heart. May followed Shin's guidance, surrendering to the stillness within. In the depths of her being, she discovered a silent presence, a sanctuary untouched by the storms of life. She realized that amidst her grief, there was a seed of strength and resilience. As days turned into weeks, May sat in meditation, learning to observe her thoughts and emotions with loving awareness. She embraced the moments of joy and allowed the waves of sorrow to wash over her, understanding that both were part of her human experience. One tranquil evening, as May sat beneath the cherry tree, a realization dawned upon her. She understood that the one she had lost would always live on within her, not as a source of pain, but as a reminder to cherish the beauty of life and the preciousness of each moment. Filled with a newfound sense of peace, May returned to Shin, gratitude radiating from her eyes. Master, she said, you have shown me the path to acceptance and inner peace. My heart still carries sorrow but it is no longer a burden that consumes me. 
It is a part of my story, woven into the fabric of who I am. Shin smiled, his eyes filled with warmth. May. You have discovered the profound truth that resides within all of us. Life is a tapestry of joys and sorrows, of birth and death, of beginnings and endings. Embrace it all with an open heart, for it is through embracing the fullness of life that we find true peace. With gratitude in her heart, May bid farewell to the Zen master, carrying his teachings deep within her being. She embarked on a new chapter of her life, not free from challenges, but equipped with the wisdom to face them with grace and acceptance. And so, May's journey continued, her footsteps guided by the gentle whispers of her heart and the timeless teachings of Shin. She became a beacon of light for others, sharing her story and offering solace to those who sought comfort in times of grief. Through her compassion and understanding, May reminded others that true peace does not lie in the absence of pain, but in the embrace of life's inevitable changes. She embodied the essence of Zen, teaching that in surrendering to the present moment, we discover the vastness of our own being and the interconnectedness of all things.